The endoscopic inspection of the right lateral ventricle shows a nearly closed foramen of Monroe as well as a clearly bulging septum pellucidum. In the dorsal area, the septum is very thin and almost transparent. The septum is circularly coagulated using the bipolar electrode. Following circular coagulation, the remaining tissue bridges are transected with the micro scissors. Marginal sections of the septum are resected with grasping forceps in order to achieve a sufficiently large septostomy. A compact arachnoid membrane can be seen below the neural tissue of the septum. To achieve a large fenestration of the arachnoid membrane, the endoscope sheath is used as a retractor to keep the corpus callosum and fornix away. Following septostomy, the endoscope sheath is inserted into the cavum villi interpositi. The inspection using the 30 degree endoscope shows the roof of the third ventricle with the internal cerebral veins and the choroid plexus as well as the splenium of the corpus callosum. On conclusion of septostomy, the endoscope sheath is removed from the right ventricle under endoscopic visual control.